What is going on everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different, and by different I mean that this is going to be a talk video, I just found a topic that I want to talk about, about CSGO, and I'm just going to share the story with you guys, and maybe you guys will learn something out of this too. So, if you guys can read, then you know that I'm going to be making a video about skin prices and how much skins are actually worth in real money. Now the reason I want to make this video is because I think there's a really big misunderstanding of how much skins are actually worth in real money, and I'm also sure that at least 50% of you guys have never cashed out a skin into real money and that is actually what i'm going to be doing in this video too so for example whenever a youtuber uploads a video with the title of winning five thousand dollars in whatever the amount of money won in the video is nowhere near the amount of money that you'll end up having on your bank account i mean i wish it was that amount that would be on my bank account but that's definitely not true so i am going to calculate the price of a skin before and after all the taxes and fees and stuff so the skin that i'm going to take as an example is a huntsman knife vanilla which is worth exactly 100 dollars on csgo stash so whenever you withdraw an item from a website, it usually has a fee of withdrawing. So the $100 knife that I withdrew from the website is only worth $96 in this case on OP skins. So this $96 right now might look really nice, but trust me, it gets really depressing near the end of the video. So whenever I have skins that I want to cash out for real money, I always sell them on opskins.com. No, this is not a sponsored message. I honestly think OP skins is the best service for you to cash out your skins. Now, there's obviously also sites like csgo.cash or skins.cash, and I mean, they are fast services but i personally think they take way too much of a fee and that is why i use op skins so whenever you're selling your item on op skins they usually take a 10 percent fee of the item you're selling however if you buy a subscription that costs you six dollars a month you'll only have a five percent fee that op skins takes of your skins so in this case we are going to sell a huntsman knife vanilla which usually has a sale percentage of 27 percent so right away you do not only sell the knife for 70 dollars only you also have to pay a five percent tax to op skins the lowest priced item on op skins for a Huntsman Knife Vanilla is $70 right now. So that means whenever you sell the item for $70, OP skins take $3.5 off that amount because of the 5% tax you have to pay. So after you sold your knife, you have $66.50 on your OP skins account. So as I talked about cashing out skins into your bank account, we have to cash out our money via PayPal. So whenever you're cashing out your OP skins money into your PayPal, there's another fee you have to pay because PayPal takes some money for the transaction too. In this case, PayPal takes 2.9% on average. That's what it says on on the site at least. Some of you guys probably don't even have to pay a fee depending on the country you're from, but I'm talking out of my own experience and I usually pay a 3% fee. So the amount you'll get on your PayPal is $64.50. If you want to calculate it, it's super easy. Just divide the amount by 100 and times it by 97 and then that is around a 3% fee. So at this point, most of you guys are done cashing out your skins and this is the actual money you'll get on your bank account if you have your bank account linked to your PayPal. However, if you are a YouTuber or someone who makes more money than $12,000 a year of skins, then you have to pay another amount of taxes over the money that you earn. These taxes have nothing to do with OP skins or PayPal. This is just a tax that you have to pay because you live in a certain country and the government just wants you to pay that amount of money. So as some of you guys might know, I am from the Netherlands. There is different levels of tax percentages depending on how much money you make a year. So to take myself as an example, I pay a 52% tax on everything I make from skins. And honestly, this is where it gets depressing because 52% is a whole lot of money. So let's get back to the $64.5 we got from the knife. So if we take the $64.50 and divide it by 100 and then multiply it by 48, that is what I'll end up having on my bank account. So after that, the amount of money that I've left is $30.96. But as I said, I am from the Netherlands where we don't use dollars and we use euros. I actually have to convert the $30.96 into euros, which is 26 euros and 25 cents. So to put this into a perspective, the amount of money that I get on my bank account is almost one fourth of what it is worth worth in CSGO. So a battle scarred op dragon lore which costs $662.50 will only end up being 211 euros and 22 cents. A factory new op dragon lore worth nearly two and a half thousand dollars will end up being $718.19 on my bank account. So yeah that was basically the video and I did not make this video to brag about my money or anything. I honestly hate people who do that. I just made this video for an informative purpose and I hope you guys could appreciate that. And I mean if you can you might as well drop a like in the video and help me out too because if i'm going to be honest with you guys i think comments likes and subscribers are worth way more to me than just money on my bank account that was enough of the emotional stuff that was it for today's video if you did enjoy the video you already know what to do and you already know you can check out my website metcs.com for some free skins and that was basically all that i wanted to say for this video and i'm out peace, peace.